in the tank itself uh, was an intimidating there were times where uh, you know numbers were asked and i don't think you know everyone's expected to know every single answer like i think we are all human at the end of the day and and we're trying to figure it out a lot of capital and uh, you know thinking around how to do it so having this opportunity was extremely crucial especially coming from an industry such as alphabet Hello and welcome. This is Sugar. Now, welcome to E Times TV. Today we have Lalit Kalani with us. You have seen him on Shark Tank India three. Hi, Lalit. How are you doing? Hi, Sugar. I'm doing well. How are you? And thanks for having me. Same here. Uh, so, tell us how was your entire Shark Tank India three experience? I mean, it's been. I mean, to put it in one word, probably just exhilarating. I think everything from. the whole selection process all the way uh, it it's almost felt surreal right and then actually seeing yourself on national tv is uh, i mean i mean that's like a once in a lifetime opportunity right? so it's been exhilarating and you know filled with emotions good at once so yeah exciting so can you like take us through your journey uh, like What prompted you to uh, come to Shark Tank India, and how was the process and everything? Sure. So, um, I mean, I've been. Uh, I mean, from people who watch the show have heard this. So, I lived in the US for almost seventeen years, right? So, I've been watching Shark Tank in the US. I mean, from season one when it actually started there, and I was an avid, avid viewer there. So, when I came back to India in twenty twenty, and when Shark Tank started in twenty twenty one, it was really exciting to you know obviously see what Shark Tank India is all about, and of course everything else that's that's coming with it, right? especially the exposure, and of course building up and lifting entrepreneurship. So, um, the the intent and everything to apply was obviously a very exciting uh, opportunity, and. given that i'd seen shark tank in the us it also was something that i've always wanted uh, to do and this seemed like the perfect time to apply so that's what got me to apply uh, for the show um, with you know applied without uh, the slightest sort of you know uh, i mean obviously there was a lot of hope but it's it's again such a competitive and i mean i can't even count the number of companies that probably applied right and going through that selection process so it was like hey let me just Let's just apply and see what happens. So after going through multiple rounds of selection, it was like, okay, this is probably the last round, but at least we gave it a shot. But kept getting selected to the next round, next round, the auditions. Uh, so it's a it's a long journey. It's it's you know you go through three four rounds of selection, everything from paper applications to in person interviews, uh, auditions, and then finally the finally the recording, the the shooting of the show, right? Um, so. It took about six months from start to finish, and then of course it aired. Uh, you know, three months after that, so it's almost been a year since I actually applied hit that paper application. Uh, so it, it's it's a long journey, but I'd say you know, for other people, just just stay with it and be patient. Right, your, your chance will also come. So was the entire experience how you had perceived it to be with the sharks? Yeah, I think uh, I think having. uh you know visualize that sort of experience and having watched so many uh episodes in the US and of course all, most of them in India too uh it was something that everything is familiar right so the music you know when they start the show when you walk in that music is familiar so there's already a lot of familiarity uh built around it right plus um, i mean once you once you're there uh obviously you, like, being on national tv Uh, is a is a big thing, so you know you're being shot for that, right? So just keeping calm and composed, knowing that you know there's going to be I don't know how many ever millions of people watching the show at that time. It's something that you just have to keep your calm and be composed. So I would say it's it's something that once you visualize it, right? Yeah, you when you go in it, you actually uh, you're you're well prepared and you just have to you know know what you do best, right? Essentially, it's it's another pitch that you're doing and. most entrepreneurs whether you're raising money or not you're always pitching your product right whether it's to customers as well so it's nothing new beyond that now you're just you're just put in this national stage but if you know that this is what you've done so many times it should be straightforward so so i think knowing that and keeping that sort of in mind going in there was um, you know was something that i sort of expected would would happen but of course it's 
when you're in the tank it does feel like you're in the tank oh, the pressure is there um and yeah it, it was it was just great overall that's what i'm going to get into that at times it gets intimidating in front of the sharks you know you uh, like uh, and they ask a lot of numbers the business acumen and all of it so was it intimidating for you at any point uh, during your pitch so personally it wasn't as intimidating again i because we've gone through rounds of fundraising and had biggest money for my previous company in the us as well uh doing investor pitches is something that that i'm very very familiar with so um i just took it as it's one more investor pitch uh and you know during investor pitches you just have to be you know as, as i say just be authentic to begin with and if you're yourself nothing can ever really intimidate you right because you're not trying to be something else so if you forget the other important thing is going in there knowing that just just be honest right so there are things that sharks do ask and they you know of course you're trying to find uh you know whether a business is going to work or not they're trying to find sort of uh, weaknesses as well to really understand right and if you don't have answers is knowing that it's okay to also say i don't know a particular answer but of course um having watched three seasons of or two seasons of shark tank india before this uh you know they are going to come after your numbers and ask for it right so we also have that much time to really prepare for it right of course you get uh you know questions that are the blue as well but uh, that preparation is is key so the two weeks before knowing that we were going to come and shoot for it knowing the numbers inside and how it is good now of course not everything gets gets shown on on tv eventually the edits and everything do happen um but in the tank itself uh, wasn't intimidating there were times where uh, you know numbers were asked and i don't think you know everyone's expected to know every single answer like i think we are all human at the end of the day and and we're trying to figure it out so uh at the end of the day one has to really believe and be convinced that you are the right founder or entrepreneur to actually figure things out right if you don't know it but you figure it out so that's keeping that in mind again just keeping calm and composed of course during the episode and shooting there were times where you know sharks were trying to dig deeper deeper and eventually if you're just calm composed uh you know and understand and take it as feedback more importantly right so it's their job as investors to really know the business inside and out as well so uh you know just not to take things personally but really just maintaining that you know composure is is really important so uh, like you did get funding from vinita say uh but uh, did you have anyone in mind like in specific that uh, it would be great if you get funding from uh, any other sharks sure so i think you know for us one of the things we were looking from the sharks was obviously when it it was about having a marketing uh, prowess right so sales distribution because that's this industry is very different and unless you're in the industry you know it's it's not as easy to navigate um so i knew the sales and distribution is something i can bring but building a brand and marketing is something that's that's critical in terms of um, you know a skill set and core skills that but at the end of the day that's what we're building so it's that brand so going into the tank of course there were some you know sharks like aman who was a really exciting who who can you know has built a, an amazing marketing organization with board so that was something that was exciting anupam i think is, is extremely sharp so would have brought brought that to the uh, realm as well uh i was excited by vinita and pius because they've actually built offline businesses which actually vinita said as well uh, so it was exciting and the the i would say the surprise was having ritesh on our show right because we don't know who's going to be the the surprise shark or the new shark and that was exciting for us he has oyo hotels and hotels are a big sales channel for us so it was really tough to go in but what i was really looking for was uh, uh, was a marketing a partner who could help build that and i thought all all of them could bring it of course and you know it's it's really exciting that we got vinita and and she saw that connect so post this show it'll be tough to choose one yeah, yeah. so post this show how has it uh, helped in uh, building our brand uh, and the association with vinita so so we uh, so building the brand i mean it's only been about a couple of weeks since we aired right so all that 
all the post production shoot airing paperwork all of that is going on so we are in touch with her team getting everything you know organized and of course uh, all the shootings were done so she now freed up a little bit uh, but overall um, you know the response from the show has been fantastic um, one of the great things it's, it's really brought a lot of credibility for us as a brand in the alphabet industry so uh, we are getting calls from distributors around the country which has been really exciting right now we we were very much focused on maharashtra and mumbai specifically but now we're getting calls from other states we just launched in goa so it's helped with sales there and and brand awareness um we are launching in haryana in the next couple months and then of course we're figuring out where to go next because there's a lot of good opportunities coming our way so i think for us especially as an alphabet uh, you know company and a startup that brand awareness value within the industry and the trade has been superb uh, which is really what will help us as distribution is the key in this business right unfortunately we're not we're not a d2c company we cannot sell online etc so we will not see it, the similar comparisons as other as other you know companies that do come on the on shark tank but uh, for us it's been you know people are taking our calls because they have seen us so it's, it's been exciting uh, to know that right i've i've been to a couple um, meetings and uh, you know if i'm at, i actually went to a bar once and the bartender was like oh you're the you're the guy on shark tank right and that was exciting because you know bartenders and mixologists now even know uh, who it is so um you know it's it's been great from that perspective tell us uh, the uh, uh, meaning behind the brand name it's very interesting like rock pepper rum uh, the thought behind it so sure. so we wanted to build a brand that had um, that was taking the ethos from what is new india today right and one of the ideas and things about we're seeing in new india and obviously we're seeing it through entrepreneurship is also this idea about taking a chance so the the name rock paper rum is actually based on the game rock paper scissors which is uh, really a game about taking a chance right so uh, so that's the ethos we wanted to build so anyone who's wanted to up their lives and has taken a chance to up their lives whether it's starting a business change years uh, marriage dating whatever taking that chance might mean to you is what we believe what new india is all about today and especially in the in a category like drum where you have foreign large foreign brands um that are you know taking uh, that have large market shares in uh, market, have a large market share in india um this is our opportunity to build a homegrown indian brand made in india for india not only for india also for the world right there's no reason why we shouldn't have a drum brand coming out of india for the world So uh rock paper rum is all about that you know taking a chance and that's that's what we want to do in body around it. So this uh show has kind of uh given you that visibility uh, which you feel uh you needed for your brand. A- absolutely. I think uh you know there are many drawbacks to being in the alphabet industry you cannot uh, really you know advertising there are many advertising restrictions etc so we have to uh you know we have and we have, we have to abide by those norms and of course so visibility in this industry is uh, is is not as easy to get right and that's and it requires a lot of capital and uh, you know thinking around how to do it so having this opportunity was extremely crucial especially coming from an industry such as alphabet uh so can, you know this is also a ch- business where we have to go through multiple channels right you have to go through distributors you have to go through retailers or bars and restaurants and then eventually to the consumer so to really reach that consumer is a is a long journey but nothing like the consumer asking for your product right at, at a bar or a restaurant or a, a retail store and that only helps add that credibility so uh, we definitely needed it as a brand i think it's uh, that awareness that we would have loved to have after 2 3 years after shark tank i think we could we definitely generated more awareness than we would have in the next year or two on our own right uh, so it's been uh, it's, it's it's been an incredible platform and i'm sure it will it will continue to uh, be that right so post the show uh, did you get uh, to connect with uh, vinita uh, as an investor So I have not connected with her one on one yet uh, but we are hoping to do that very shortly especially since the shoot dates and everything are now finally 
finally over so i'm sure there's there's more to your time but we've been in touch with a team over the last 3 to 4 months which who have been super supportive taking us through that through the process or that every investment has to go through right so so been in touch with the team very regularly right? okay uh, lalit ji thank you so much uh, for being with us it was uh, great talking to you uh, great no no and wish thank you all the best yeah thank you thank you so much yeah bye have a good day